your choice. So this is a wonderful game to play with dogs as it really does make them use their mind to think what they have to do to get the resource that they want. So when I say resources, in this video we're just going to use food. Uh, but it's your choice, it could be anything, uh, just a quick example, going in and out of doors, not just house doors, car doors, getting into the car, getting out of the car, having the leash attached, food type. What it's basically getting the dogs to think about is, what do I have to do to get this resource that I need from you? Food is a really, really good one, especially this dog who's very food motivated. So I'm going to start it using um, Raven. Uh, but like I said, it, it can apply to absolutely anything in life. But this is what we do in class, so this is the way I'm going to do it to help everybody. So first of all, I'm going to let Raven know that I have food in my hand. So this is her favourite salmon treats. Okay. Now, she's usually really mouthy. She has been getting a bit better over the last couple of days. But what I'm looking for is for her to work out what does she have to do to get this food. What I'm looking for is her to be, show polite manners, i.e. backing off. Then after, after that, I'm going to wait for her to look at me. So when she looks at me, I call that, say please. So it's kind of like, can I have the food? So when she gives me that, I'm going to, I'm going to reward her. Okay, so I just need to get near the camera for you. Okay, so here's the food. This is what I don't want. But I'm not going to say anything. She has to work it out for herself. Yes, so she backed up just a tiny bit, so she got the reward of her food. Food here again. Yes, good. Get out quite that quick. Okay, so I'm going to up the value of the food. You don't have to up the value. I just need her to show you on video what she normally does, which is what your dogs would probably do. Okay, so I'm going to open it. Nice. So we're getting that look already. Your dog won't give you that look. If they're, if they're really uh, not used to having to say please for their food. Good, so I'm going to open my hand. Nice, good girl. Okay, take it. Very important that you pick the food up and present it to your dogs. If you have counter surface, this is excellent game to teach them because they should not take anything off the counter unless you verbally give them permission to do so. Yes, good girl. I want to be able to have my hand open. Yes. Okay. Take it. So there's no ah, leave it or anything like that. It's all, she has to use her brain to work out what she needs. Beautiful. Yes. Okay. Take it. Normally I'd pick it up at my other hand and give it to them. So my only response is that my hand closes. Nice. Good. Nice. Okay. Take it. Okay. So I'm not going to like play this forever. I'm going to move on to the next stage that we're doing in class. So next stage in class would be, we would either put the food at dog's nose level. So I've got a chair here. Sometimes we would use uh, just a low footstool for the dogs. Uh, let's get this in camera view. So obviously I can't open and close my hand. So if she goes to grab the food, I'm just going to cover it. Okay, so I'm going to let her know it's there. Okay, take it. So it's 
percent but I'm going to go through any little breakthrough I can get. So the blue's on there to go to take it. So we got the please, but I want to get to the stage where I can have it uncovered. Whoever they're looking is what they're thinking. So all she's thinking is give me an opportunity to take this food. Still not at the stage where I can trust her not to take the food. So I'm going to put it on there. really pushing uh Girl loves her food. Yes. Okay. Take it. is progressing really well so after that I might drop the food on the floor and she goes to grab it I put my foot over it I take my foot away and she went to grab it I keep going like that until she backed off looked at me then I pick it up and I'd say okay take it if we play this all the way through it should be that you could have a play to stay Leave it in the room, centre of the room on the floor, leave the room, come back, the dog wouldn't have touched it. The reason they never touched it is because they never verbally heard you say, okay, take it. So, translate, oh, um, I, I, it, before some of you go, yeah, 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 I did actually have a class helper who used to train security dogs and that's exactly what he had to do to make sure the dogs would never eat any food that anybody threw over the fence which might have poison in it so it, you definitely can do it I've never got that far I've got kibble on the floor but never never stayed so now just think about things like the door that I said earlier on so you can't just keep opening and closing your hand but your response to be to your dog pushing through the door instead of closing your hand you're just going to close the door you don't have to have the door wide open just that far is enough to start the dog pushes forward the door closes you keep doing that within 10 minutes you'll be able to have the door wide open if you've done it correctly and your dog will just sit there look at you then you give them permission to go out putting the leash on and off just uh, attach go to attach it if they go hyper just don't attach it just walk away come back a couple of minutes later keep repeating it so there's no words no no stop it bad girl anything like that because that will just get your adrenaline higher 
The less you say, the more the brain will kick in. What do I need to do? And within a couple of minutes, you should have a dog that sits there calmly while you attach the leash on. Just think of anything in life that your dog wants and you can apply it to your choice to it.